Hey guys, um, I'm going to put the Algo trading series on hold for a couple weeks and we're going to do, uh, by popular demand, an intro to trade ideas. Uh, there's been a lot of people out there who have gotten trade ideas recently because they launched the AI, um, which today is a perfect example. It's doing absolutely phenomenally. Let me bring in. Um, you can always, with the new version, you can actually look and see what it's up or down, open and closed, right? So if you took 100 shares of each of these trades, you'd be up a uh, $1.51 per share, um, open 20 cents per share, so a great, great day for it, and it's been doing better and better. Um, but a lot of people have gotten it just because of this, and they want to know how do I work this thing. Um, the way I describe trade ideas is it's very, very simple, but very, very deep. Um, they include a lot of things for you for free. Um, that are, are pre-built, uh, ready to go. Um, so I'm going to, for the first couple videos, or the first video anyway, go over settings and go over all the pre-built stuff you can play with to kind of get your feet wet. So when you get trade ideas, um, I don't really know how it opens initially, but you want to get to kind of this screen where you just have this guy up. Um, and then from there, I would take a look at the settings. I'll show you some of the settings I use. Uh, options and and go from there. Um, the first one I, I would change this defaulted is I would go click on alert under general instead of double click on alert and that just means that you can uh, single click on any alert window or any um, any strategy and it will then change the price for you. Um, I don't really mess with any of this. The only other thing I play with is This here, so loading layouts, open relative to main window. So this is your main window, and as long as you click open relative to main window, that means regardless of which is your primary monitor on your screen, it will always open up the new window under this. As well as time zone, you can go Eastern, or you can go local, or um, some other stuff you can change, but really just uh, um, the layout, I would make sure it always asks to save your layout. Um, and then uh, single click on alert and open relative to main window. So the first thing I think everybody should do when they get trade ideas, if you've spent the extra, the extra cash, is open up the AI window. Um, mine's right here. Uh, so this is the AI window and you can customize this by right clicking and we'll get into customization of windows in a future video. But this is step one, right? Because this is what a lot of you guys spent your hard earned money on is this AI. You can see, um, you know, it's, you can customize lots and lots of columns, but really what you want to see is you want to see the strategy. You want to see the uh, smart stop and the entry price basically. Um, so you can actually click and drag these headers and move them around. If I want it long short over here, I can do that. I would also right click on this and I would click show strategy menu. And that's what pops up here. So these are all the trades as they happen. So I would get these two on your screen, right? And then whether or not you want to use their charts, that's something else I would put on the screen. I would put a uh, new chart, maybe put that in there, and then I would make sure that these kind of stick around for you. So you want to right click and on all the ones that you want to stay, you want to click pinned. So you can see this is pinned and you can see this is pinned. Um, the next thing that I would do is I would do a channel bar. Um, you can arrange this a couple ways. You can arrange it uh, horizontally or vertically. Um, but I would take a channel bar and I would put it somewhere as well because a lot of the cool stuff I'm going to show you today is just from the channel. I know I went over kind of my pre-market routine with the channel, but I just want to show everyone how to navigate all the stuff that's given to you for free. Um, so this will be the main thing. The other thing we'll go, we'll look through, we'll go new alert window or new topless window. And you can see that all of these alerts here, anything from recent settings and up, is all pre-built for you, right? So if you want top um, top gainers, right? You can say uh, I want top daily gainers, and these are all built in. You just click OK after double-clicking that. Here's your top gainers for the day. 
all linked to uh, to the chart that you brought up. Um, right. So I would take first take your AI strategies, take a chart, pin all of this to your screen, go through new alert windows and top list and look for things that you you want to see right the top gainers and losers and that type of thing and then third and uh, and lastly because I'm going to try to keep these fairly close is your channel bar um, so you can go through and I would scroll through these depending on the day so now that the importance that of us pinning these are now that I click one of these you can see these windows will stay, right? I could shrink them a bit to make them fit nice and pretty. Um, but these windows aren't going to change as I, I channel surf, as Trade Ideas calls it, between the different windows. Um, so in the pre-market, you kind of want to be looking at this, and this will tell you everything that's up and down, things that are gapping the most, right? And these, this will be things that move pre-market. Um, you can get to the artificial intelligence from here, but I like to have it up all the time, so that's why I showed you the other way to open it. Um, for intraday, I would say you want to look at surge, because these are things that are moving on volume. So if you're a day trader, this could definitely help you out, right? You're going to get um, you're going to get volume most interesting right now, right? Because this thing is breaking out and it's putting in a lot of volume. These type of things also um, options if you like that. But the other one is this active trading that I really like. So we have these biggest bounce on losers and this biggest pullback on winners. I really like these. Um, so that's it. That's what I would say is the absolute, your kind of basic, your what you have to do to just get rolling, right? If you bought trade ideas, again, if you are interested, I have links down below. There's a new deal going on that I got us access to, so that will be below the video as well. Open up your AI, open up your chart, pin them, and then I would just start surfing through the channels, see what you like. And as well with the pinning that's very important is you can also at any time grab any of these. So I really like these, and I have these on another window these biggest pullback on winners and biggest bounce on losers. I like being able to click and see, okay, what was doing well earlier in the day but pulling back now. Um, it's a way to build a list for later in the day. Uh, you can also right click on these at any time and you can click pinned. And then just kind of move them out of the way and continue your surfing and you can see that they're not going to go anywhere. So that's the way to get started. So let's get started. Click through, play with it for a couple days, and um, pull the, the windows that you like. On the next video, I'm going to go over the basic alert window, how to customize it, how to add your own filters, um, and I'm going to give you an example of how I would kind of go to build a strategy. So if you like this kind of stuff, just let me know. If you have anything that you would like to see, also let me know, and I'll get to them in a future video. So, All right, guys, trade safe.